Hi, I'm Brian with Wampler Pedals, here with Travis Feaster, and this is the Clark Still Delta Overdrive. Travis and I uh, actually designed this together. Travis is a great blues player, uh, known around the world, and really locally huge in the blues scene. And uh, he came to me, and he said, I've got this amazing overdrive that if you can, if you can better this, this one will be a permanent fixture on my board. Mm -hmm. So we hammered it out, and sat down, just tweaked and, and um, did a bunch of different types of circuits. We had to build a bunch of prototypes, a didn't bunch, we? Yeah. Trying, trying to get this and tone. taking out different yep. components in each one. Yeah, yeah so. so eventually what we stumbled on is that his, he's got like this amazing 808. This is the sound <laughs> of, of what he's going for. So I said, okay, let's do this. If we're gonna do an 808 for a blues type of sound, then we need to do, I, I wanna do it how I would how modify would the pedal. Right. Yeah. So, but, so what you have, of course, is a pedal with a bunch of knobs and controls, <laughs> but, and a switch. You got to have the switch. And you got to have a switch in it. So, um, if you want that traditional 808 sound, put the the uh, bass and mid knob at noon. That's the traditional 808 sound. The treble operates just like the original circuit does. The switch will kind of allow a little bit of a mid boost, a little bit less compression. It's changing diodes in the circuit, basically. And uh, it has a little bit less gain, and it's cleaned up, cleans up better. Right. So a little bit more gain if you need it, and of course it's an active uh, tone, active EQ on it. So you actually do cut bass, you actually do boost bass and, and mids. Right. And so, one thing I'll kind of interject there yeah. too is the reason I wanted Brian to better the pedal. It's the only pedal I've ever had that's been on my board since I've been playing. Right. And there was one thing I didn't like about it, and that's whenever you got into the higher gain settings. It would get a little fizzy, mm -hmm. so that was the main reason. I was like, dude, if you could make one that doesn't get fizzy and sounds awesome in the higher gain sounds, then that's it. Right, so, and it does it. So yeah, so. That, I think we've uh, we finally stumbled on that <laughs> magical yeah. component that would make yeah. a great 808. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then add more flexibility into it. Right. So with that, let's uh, let's hit your clean tone. Okay. So I'll kick the pedal on. Okay, so if you just play a few things, I'm just okay. going to tweak some knobs.
That's the Clarksdale Delta Overdrive, the first pedal in our new series called the Classic Series, which is basically a couple uh, of traditional type of circuits. We usually don't do clones, so a couple clones and uh, with our sort, sort of our, our tweaks, <laughs> yeah. our, our spins, our magical bag of tricks that uh, that we do. So uh, check it out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>